Every once in a while, there's a moment on the internet when a meme becomes something much more than a meme. It becomes a cultural moment. It becomes something that people are talking about, not just online, but offline as well. And it's, it's, it, it takes on a life of its own. And whenever something like that is happening, as it is right now with the GameStop stock moment, uh, to get a sense of how big it actually is, I'll, I'll call my mom and I'll ask my mom if she's heard about this and she knows what's going on. So a couple days ago, I called my mom and I asked her if she'd heard about the situation between Reddit and GameStop. And my mom said, yes. <laughs> and I asked my mom what she knew about this situation and surprisingly, she had a somewhat clear sense of what's been going on. She knew that uh, a bunch of people on the internet had got together and they'd bought this stock and Wall Street was upset about it because they thought something shouldn't have been done. And as she had an idea of like what the battle was between the Redditors on the internet and Wall Street, the big money bankers on the other side. And uh, <laughs> this made me happy, but it also showed me that there's a lot of nuance to what's happening right now that can be lost if you're only listening to the mainstream media and getting your uh, opinions from the news. So, you know, I've been watching the situation closely all week. Um, I've been a Reddit user for many, many years. I, I knew about Wall Street bets long before any of this happened. So uh, even, even though I'm not like in the thick of it, I didn't invest in GameStop uh, a month ago or anything like that. I'm very aware of what's happening and I thought I'd give a little explanation for anyone like my mom who kind of knows what's going on but doesn't entirely know what's going on. And to, okay, to explain what's actually happened here, we need to back up a bit to about one year ago. Actually, I think it was over a year ago when a Reddit user whose username I cannot say because it has a, a swear word in the middle of it, but let's just call him Deep. And this user named Deep made a bet on a company called GameStop. And at the time, GameStop was only worth about four or $5. It was not a successful stock whatsoever. And you know, even it, within this community called Wall Street Bets, which is the section on Reddit, uh, where people make like crazy bets on uh, on stocks, and it's it's not even seen even within Reddit. There's like an investing page where it's like more professional, and then Wall Street Bets is seen as like kind of a joke. It's a bunch of like, it's just got its own kind of meme culture, um, and <laughs> you know this even within that culture, this this people were making fun of him for betting on GameStop, even within. The, the circle of jokers and clowns, it was like, man, you're, you're, you're too crazy for us. GameStop, seriously? And the reason people were uh, not betting on GameStop is because this is a company that, you know, buys and sells video games. Uh, it's, you know, I'm not in the gaming community, but for people who are, I think it has a, a serious nostalgia factor. It's kind of like Blockbuster Video, which was a company that, you know, for anyone who's very young, you might not know them, but I, I certainly know Blockbuster. They're where you rented your videos from. And of course, they were put out of business by companies like Netflix. And with GameStop, they have really, you know, struggled a lot in the digital age because today, a lot of people aren't buying physical video games. They're just getting them on their computer and, you know, the, the market has changed. And because of that, their stock price was very, very low. But this one guy on Reddit named Deep, he just, you know, for, for it's, too, it's too long of an explanation to get into why he thought it was a good pick. But he had done his research and he said, hey, this is actually going to be a great stock. You need to invest in them. And month after month after month, he made posts on Reddit saying, here's the amount of money I'm investing. I'm putting it into GameStop. I'm putting it in. And for month after month, people were just laughing at him and saying, man, like this isn't, like, why are you doing this? <laughs> but he kept doing it. He kept posting the proof. He kept showing that he was doing it. And over the course of over a year, he put, 
I think about fifty thousand dollars into GameStop. Uh, and this guy's not rich. Like he's a he's a he's a trader, but obviously, like this is a significant investment. That's probably like his his life savings nearly into this GameStop company. So that's kind of part one. That's setting the stage for the GameStop story. Part two is when the big money hedge funds, the Wall Street, you know, fat cats as we call them. I'm the, I shouldn't make fun of cats. I, I actually like cats. But you know, basically the people on Wall Street who have the multi-billion dollar hedge funds, which uh, the people I was talking about at the beginning who are the ones who run the club instead of the people on the outside of the club, they decided to short GameStop. When you short a stock, you're betting that it's going to lose, okay? You're betting that that stock is gonna go down and you're placing money, you're investing money and saying that uh, basically if GameStop is at $5, you're betting it's gonna go down to like $1 or even zero, it's just gonna go bankrupt. And you are, yeah, you're essentially, you're rooting for this company to go bankrupt. Now it's a very risky thing to do because if the price does go up, you then need to pay back the difference between where you shorted and how high it goes up. So you see what I mean? If it went up to like $20, you'd need to pay, well, not just five, but like another 15 to pay that difference. So it's incredibly risky. It's, it's also sort of unethical because you're betting on a company going bankrupt, so you have an invested interest in watching someone fail. But that's what the hedge funds were doing, and they were against GameStop. So much so, in fact, that collectively they had, they had shorted this company by something like 120%. I heard someone else say it was 140%. Uh, but basically, they had shorted more stocks than actually exist which, you know, if that doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't make sense to me either. And again, I'm not a like deep investor or anything like that. So I don't know if this is legal or not. Some people are saying it's illegal. Some people are saying it's not, but it should be. Whatever the case, they went, you know, they went all in on saying this company's gonna fail and we're gonna profit from them failing. And that, my friends, <laughs> that is when people on Reddit started collectively seeing an opportunity and seeing, well, you know what? If we collectively work together and bet on GameStop, if we start buying GameStop stocks and rising, raising the price, uh, the, you know, the, these hedge funds, they're gonna get screwed over because they bet that the price is gonna go down. So why don't we, this, you know, random strangers online who are together, why don't we start betting on this company, putting all our money into it, and it'll go up and up and up and up, and sooner or later, those guys on the other side, they will have to pay in. As long as they don't sell, you know, uh, the Wall Street people will have to pay in. And that's how what's called the short squeeze started. You're squeezing, right, the shorts. You're squeezing the people from Wall Street, and you're forcing them to pay this now inflated price. And, you know, I, I wish I'd been paying attention not just a week ago, but like two weeks ago. Or because if I knew all this, then I would have I would have invested largely into GameStop and been a part of this historic moment. Uh, I, I got into it when it was already like a bit too late. But um, it's 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 this moment when for the first time that I can remember in modern history, uh, you know, the people, the 99 percent pooled together and decided to take on a hedge fund. And not only did this cause the price of GameStop to go up and up and up, but it, it reached astronomical figures. It broke $100 and then $200 and then $300. And that, my friends, is when we start part three of this crazy little story. Because at this point, we are you know, everyone's talking about GameStop. This is when I started really paying attention to what was going on. Um, and, and this is when, you know, the mainstream media started sort of attacking the people on Reddit. Th there were other people saying they, they're cheating. They have hacked the system. They have hacked the stock market, which, 
is not only untrue, but is a very uh, <laughs> deceitful use of the word hack. There's no way you can hack a stock just by buying it. But more importantly to understand, something that not all of the me news media is saying right now, is that these people from Reddit did nothing wrong. All they did was collectively, well, they sort of followed this guy deep, but he also did nothing wrong. They just noticed an opportunity. They noticed an undervalued stock and decided we're gonna buy it. And then more people bought it, more people bought it, more people bought it. And <laughs> this, this, uh, this community, by the way, Wall Street Bets, I think before all this started, it might've been like about a million people who used that page. Now it's over 6 million. Uh, and that, that's just on Reddit. Like now it's, it's, it's kind of a movement that has a, a mind of its own. Like I have pe friends I haven't talked to in a long time who I see talking about GameStop. Um, and this is probably a good time to say no nothing in this video is investment advice. As I've said before, I don't really know what I'm talking about, uh, but I do know why this is such an interesting story. And part of it is what happened next. This is actually the darkest stage of this entire story. This is when Wall Street money fought back against Wall Street bets and the Reddit community who was making so much money. Uh, oh, I, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, Deep, the, the kid who was getting laughed at for like a year, who was investing his money into, into this company, at the high of uh, the, cur the current high, I should say, because we don't even know if the, in the future it'll continue going higher, but at the high, which was I think Wednesday, uh, <laughs> when GameStop was like over $300, his, uh, his, his stock was now worth $49 million. And he was still holding it. He's still holding on. So <laughs> we have not just a millionaire, but a multi, multi, multi millionaire. And everyone else who was following deep at the beginning and buying the stock when it was $5 or $10, they are also like going to be set for life because it's gone, you know, a nearly a hundred times higher than it was before. So a lot of people have made serious money. And on the other hand, this hedge fund has lost billions of dollars like as far, by some estimates over five billion dollars so they're they're quite possibly going to go bankrupt they've been bled dry they to at least to buy in at the current price they would you know have to liquidate all of their assets so it's <laughs> it really is crazy what's happened here and it's all come down comes down to the greed from wall street who bet on this company failing who decided they wanted to profit on the death of, you know, the, the, the death of GameStop. And Redditors, you know, based on their own information said, we're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna fight back. And they gave one of the best shots to Wall Street that I've seen in my life and uh, maybe anyone has seen in their lives either. I mentioned earlier how the media started sort of slandering the Reddit community and spreading misinformation about how this is this is an attack on billionaires, as one hedge fund investor said on some news network. People are sitting at home getting the checks from the government, okay? And this fair share is a bullshit concept. It's just a way of attacking wealthy people. Cry me a river there, buddy. Like no one, no one, no one is crying for the, for the loss of uh, this hedge fund. So Thursday rolls around and, you know, Wednesday night, I actually invested in not um, not GameStop because it was already at 300 bucks. It was, it was kind of too late for that. But there's another company called AMC, which also the community on Wall Street Bets was heavily uh, suggesting because AMC is a, a, a movie uh, cinema chain that was also being heavily um, shorted by Wall Street. So it was seen as sort of like a, a B class, like, like once everything with GameStop has, has ended, we're gonna go to AMC next. Uh, so I decided, you know what, I'll, I'll put a bit of money into AMC. It, maybe it shoots up like uh, GameStop did. Maybe it doesn't. In any case, I get to be part of this historic moment and what I perceive to be this fight against, uh, well, against the corrupt people in Wall Street who got us into all this financial mess in the first place. Um, but anyway, so I'm, I, I'm involved now. I own AMC. I'm waking up early on Thursday morning to watch what happens. <laughs> yeah, you know, I want to see if my stock goes up. I also want to see if games, GameStop goes up. 
Uh, I also just want to see what happens because this is such a crazy moment. Uh, but I never could have imagined what actually happened. So there's this company called Robinhood. And if you're an investor, you know Robinhood. If you're not, you don't. But essentially, it's a phone app that has made it easier than ever to trade. There's no fee to trade stocks. Uh, it's, it's on your phone. So like it's only a couple clicks to, to buy a share and then sell it. And then so anyway, not everyone, but I would say most people in the Reddit community who are investing into into GameStop were doing it through this Robinhood app because not only was it convenient, but that was actually the way that Robinhood marketed themselves too. They were calling themselves, they still do, they call themselves, uh, you know, democratizing finance, democratizing, uh, you know, uh, stock trading. We're, we're here for the people. We want to make it easier for people to, to invest. So they, they branded themselves as the company of the people. But when the people were all investing into GameStop and AMC and a couple other companies, what did they do? They stopped trading. As of Thursday morning, uh, Robinhood was not allowing anyone to buy shares in GameStop, also in AMC, also in Nokia and BlackBerry. There were, there were a couple other companies that are involved in this, mo in this movement. But for now, let's just talk about GameStop. They stopped people from being able to buy it when the fever pitch and the momentum was at its all time peak. It had been going up, 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 up. Now we're over $300. The, 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 Wall, Street, <laughs> the Wall Street people are panicking. The, the, the media is panicking. No one knows what to do. And this company says, no more buying. They, they said, we're doing it to protect our users. They said we're doing it because this is an extremely volatile moment and we're going to protect our users. But they didn't protect their users from selling the stock. They only stopped them or protected them from buying it. Which means that as of Thursday morning, the price could not continue to go up because users on Robinhood could no longer buy the stock. Uh, the price could only go down because you could only sell. And because I was awake and I was monitoring Reddit and other social media, I was paying very close attention to this moment. And in this moment, everyone was panicked. Everyone on Robinhood was trying to say, where do we go? How, how, can, we, how can we buy the stock? What, what do we do? What's going to happen? No one knew what to do. People were desperately trying to open other accounts to, to transfer out of Robinhood. But as anyone who trades stocks knows, it takes a few days to actually like set up a new account. And uh, it's, it's not like... I'm gone with Robin Hood. It's so th th they screwed people. They screwed the Reddit community and everyone involved in the stock at the moment when at the moment when it mattered the most. And because of that, well, for I mean there's all, there's all sorts of questions that this ri raises like why did Robin Hood actually do this? Uh, I'll get to that in a moment, but first, because of that, the price started to go down. Remember, no one can buy to bring the price up. People can only sell and people started to sell. The price went down, the price went down. All Thursday, the price was going down. But amazingly, the price didn't go down to zero. It didn't go anywhere near zero. In fact, it stayed above 200. I think it stayed in like 230, 240 range for most of the day. And that's because on Reddit and all over social media, there was a movement Hold your shares. Don't sell your shares. They're trying to trick us into selling our shares because the hedge funds wants to save the day. They want to get the price back to a point where they can reasonably uh, buy these shares and get rid of their, their shorts, their, get rid of their um, short agreements. You, you know what I mean. But anyway, like the lower the price goes, that saves Wall Street. The higher the price goes, the more they bleed, the more they go bankrupt. And Robinhood, fixed it, they manipulated the market so it could only go down. And I was there all day watching what happened. And after that happened, I would say what started as a movement to just take on a few greedy hedge funders and to try and make some fast cash, like honestly, it felt like that's what it was mostly before. After Robinhood screwed them, I think 
this mo this movement changed. It became something about like, you know what? We don't even care if we're going to make money anymore. I don't even care what's going to happen to this stock. I'm just going to hold it because you guys are doing something fundamentally wrong. These guys who are working together and manipulating the market and profiting off companies failure, you are the ones who have led us into this corrupt world. You are the ones who caused this financial crisis in 2008, which, which no one went to jail for. You're the ones on every day on TV every day uh, uh, telling us how, oh, the market needs to be unregulated. And, uh, you know, oh, if, if people lose their money, it's their fault. Because the small investor, they lose their money all the time. That's literally what like Wall Street bets is all about. <laughs> If you go to the Reddit investing page, they have a little slogan. It says, uh, lose money with friends. <laughs> it's kind of a joke, but it's because like so many random everyday investors lose money all the time. And then the one time that everyone uh, teams up together and has Wall Street scared, what do they do? They stop trading. They fix the game. They tell people it was for their own interest but really it was for Wall Street's interest. It was for the hedge fund's interest. It was for the billionaire's interest. <sighs> it was a sad moment, it was a dark moment. It was a moment of great confusion for myself and for others on Reddit and all over the GameStop side of things. But also it was a moment of realization that, you know, these bastards don't even wanna to pretend to play by the rules. They have their own set of rules and they're gonna change the rules and fix the game whenever they can to, to beat everyone else. But there's a little, there's another meme that you guys should know about related to, uh, <laughs> related to GameStop. And it's called Diamond Hands. Diamond Hands is what I saw people saying over and over and over and over. And that means like, there's two different memes happening. There's paper hands, which means you know, your, your hands are flimsy, which means whenever something goes wrong, you just sell the stock. You sell. You, you're, you, that, that means paper hands. When things go wrong, you sell. But diamonds are strong. Diamonds do not break. Diamonds do not give in to pressure. And diamond hands are what everyone was calling for. Meaning, don't sell the stock. Don't let them manipulate you. And amazingly, despite the fact that no one could buy GameStop, the price remained above 200 bucks at the end of trading on Wednesday. Or no, sorry, on Thursday. So then Friday rolls around. And at this point, like before Friday, I couldn't even sleep. I was like, oh my God, like what's gonna happen? Is this the end of it? Did, did Wall Street win? Are the prices just gonna go down to zero? The next day, GameStop starts to rise. AMC, the stock that I bought, starts to rise. And we saw positive gains all through the day. Robinhood, the Robinhood CEO was all on the news talking about, uh, oh, we had, we had to do it to uh, protect our, our user base. And he just, uh, you know, I don't wanna get sued. I'm not gonna like, uh, maybe I shouldn't say too much more about Robinhood because I've already been pretty rough on them in this video. But from my perspective and from everyone else's perspective, they gave in to the corporate money that wanted that stock to not be bought anymore. And Robinhood, you know, they literally have it in their name. What, do, what does Robinhood do? It's supposed to steal from the rich and give to the poor. When it mattered the most, they stole from the poor and they gave to the rich. So there's a big, there's actually a class action lawsuit. People are suing Robinhood. Um, there's even suggestions that Robinhood, suggestions, well, I, I just, I, I can't verify if this is, entirely factually accurate, but I've heard claims that part of Robinhood is actually owned by the same hedge funds who have shorted GameStop. So if you follow the trace of money, they had financial interest to stop this stock, not just to support other people, but to support themselves. And if that turns out to be true, frankly, these people should be in jail because that is clearly um, manipulating the market to their own, to their own ends. Again, not saying that's factually accurate entirely. Do your own research, but this is the, this is the buzz on the street right now. Robinhood has, at the very least, uh, done you know, uh, unrepairable damage to their brand. And at the worst, uh, 
they could be going to jail. Things could get really, really bad for Robinhood. Um, but in the meantime, the stock continues to go up. GameStop has not been stopped. They were not stopped uh, when everyone was making fun of them at the beginning. They were not stopped when, uh, <laughs> you know, Jim Cramer, who's a financial advisor, was like on TV going like, Oh, these people, they don't know what they're doing. They just say, I want to buy this stock because I like the stock. I like the stock. We like the stock. We like the stock. I mean, that's... He was like making fun of... Uh, <laughs> he was making fun of Redditors, basically. What did Redditors do? Well, they made that into their catchphrase. Now, anytime you're on Reddit, you see people saying, Diamond Hands, I like the stock. I like the stock. They have reclaimed the uh, the the... The trash talking and the hatred from the media and from the investor class, they've used that as a badge of honor. We like the stock. We like the stock. We like the stock. Yes, we like the stock. GameStop. And I think it's it's a very remarkable thing that's happening right now. It's really a it's in some sense, it could be seen as class warfare. It's a war between people who have always been, as I said, on the outside and people on the inside. And for once, the people on the outside are actually winning. And that's why I bought AMC. Uh, you know, I wish I'd been a week earlier to buy GameStop. Uh, some people are still buying GameStop. I think over 300 bucks, it's, there's certainly a risk involved at this point. If you're watching this video and you're getting inspired and you're like, yeah, I want to be part of the, the people's battle against this hedge fund, you can certainly invest, but uh, do a bit more research than just my video because as I know, as I'm saying, I'm just someone on the outside who's like kind of enjoying this moment, but I was not there at the beginning. I don't know all the details. And my, myself, I haven't invested a large amount of money. Like if it goes to zero, I'm comfortable with that. But I'm not selling either because <laughs> just like a deep the guy from the beginning who, who could be up 50 million dollars now and go buy a private island and never like speak to anyone again he hasn't sold either no one has sold that's the crazy thing i mean a few people have sold but mostly the the movement is diamond hands people are holding on for dear life and they're saying like whatever happens happens but we're not giving in to those investment hedge funders and uh, yeah, I guess the real reason I wanted to make this video is just because to explain to, you know, my mom, are you watching? Hi mom. <laughs> no, to, to my mom and everyone else who uh, kind of knows what's going on but doesn't really know what's going on, haven't been wasting a week of your life just like surfing Reddit and like watching every moment as I have been for the past week. Uh, because I think for those people there's a very strong danger that the media is going to manipulate this and make it seem like the people have hacked or cheated or manipulated the market in some way. When that is complete nonsense, they didn't manipulate anything. The people who manipulated the market were Robin Hood, who decided to literally stop the market at the most important moment. And also uh, the billionaire hedge funds who are actually like betting more stock against this company than actually existed, like that doesn't even make sense, but they were able to do it because they play by their own rules. And they have succeeded time and time again on betting against companies and watching them fail and then making news articles about how, oh, we think this stock's gonna go down um, so they can actually profit from these stocks going down and make their money. Uh, and not worry about the thousands of employees of GameStop who are now like watching their company go bankrupt. You know, that, that, and that's the real, I think that's the beginning of the, the feeling of like, like F you guys to the, to the hedge funds is that like this, what you're actually betting on is going to cause immeasurable suffering to this company that is already struggling through a pandemic and struggling through a changing market and struck like, it's like you're kicking a dog that's just laying on the ground injured, you know, like, so people are really happy to see GameStop rising. They're happy to see AMC rising, the movie company. And, you know, for anyone in the media to say that this is somehow illegal, what's being done, 
I don't think it's illegal. I think it's truly a democratization of the process. It's truly people looking out for a company that they love and saying, we want to be part of this. We don't want to see this fail. We want to stop this. And if we can screw over some uh, hedge fund who bet against them in the process, well, even better. And I don't know how it's going to end. I don't know if the stock is going to continue going up. Uh, I, I, I would recommend you, if you're interested, do some more research, learn about the GameStop story because it's one of the great stories of our time. I'm not, investi- I'm not in- encouraging you to invest right now. I'm not also not encouraging you uh, not to invest if you already have it. Diamond hands, don't forget. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just, it's a great story and it shows the power that we have collectively on the internet when we work together instead of just, uh, you know, bickering and fighting all the time. We like the stock. We like the stock. We like the stock. Yes, we like the stock. GameStop. So yeah, that's the story of GameStop and the war between Reddit and Wall Street. It's not over yet. We've had quite a battle, but it's not over yet. And next week is going to be very interesting. Let me know if you have predictions about what's going to happen with GameStop, what's gonna happen with this movement? Is it just me? Do you also like, can you tell that this is a bigger movement than just the stock? If it was just one stock, I wouldn't be making this video. I don't usually, I'm not a stock channel, but this is something like I've never seen in my life. And uh, something's coming. I don't know what it is, but there's a way of coming. and Things are gonna change. At least I hope they do, because we need some changes in this broken system that's been favoring the rich for far too long.